Steven Soderbergh is a filmmaker who changes genres the way most people change clothes, and at about the same pace as well. It wasn't that long ago that we watched his disease pandemic horror film Contagion. He's back, however, to drop a movie in the middle of the January doldrums. If you look carefully, though, he is an auteur filmmaker, and auteur is a French word for author, but it's a film word for super genius filmmaker that you can identify in about five minutes of watching his movies. And when you watch Haywire, which is his first attempt at doing a super spy, James Bond, Hannah Salt, Ethan Hunt thriller chase movie, you will see that a lot of his signature ticks and identifiers are at play. And it's kind of an interesting thing to watch in an action movie, something he's not done before. Soderbergh has also made uh, a number of films recently where he casts people to essentially play themselves. Gina Carano is a mixed martial arts star who is making a major bid uh, to be an action film star. You could read Haywire as a 93 minute casting call for Warner Brothers to cast her in the Wonder Woman movie that never seems to get made. In this case, you have black ops Wonder Woman Mallory Kane, who starts off the movie in the middle of being double-crossed by one of her many bosses. She gets to lay the boots to a number of real high-profile actors, which is another Soderbergh trademark, um, casting everyone in Hollywood to play character parts. Ewan McGregor is in this, Antonio Banderas is in this, Michael Douglas is in this, Michael Fassbender is in this. I'm gonna stop right at Michael Fassbender because there is an action sequence in here that kind of gives you the flavor of Soderbergh's filmmaking. Mallory gets in a tussle with Fassbender's James Bond uh, Dublin Irish spy. It plays like a sex scene and uh, Carano and Fassbender are just fantastic. Uh, it, it's almost worth the price of admission just for that particular scene. And it's very unusual in an action movie uh, and uh, kind of sets this thing a bit apart from what you would usually expect in a Jason Statham direct-to-video movie. Haywire may not have as much meat on the bone uh, or stylistic excess as uh, the last collaboration between Steven Soderbergh and Lem Dobbs, which produced The Limey, which one could make the argument is Steven Soderbergh's best film, period. But there is a fantastic propulsion to this movie. It is completely no-nonsense, just get the job done, have one scene between Carano and each actor and make that scene just completely work as almost an individual movie in itself. There is a real charisma and a real presence offered by Carano in the movie and watching her do her thing makes the film breeze by in an exceptionally short period of time, which is pretty impressive considering she's a mixed martial arts fighter and American gladiator. But if you don't want to watch a modern woman kicking ass in an incredibly stylistic, propulsively forward filmmaking joint, you should check out King Hu's 1966 uh, Wuja, which is Chinese for everybody was kung fu fighting, uh, film that stars Pepe Cheng and was sort of the template for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The movie's called Come Drink With Me. While that seems like a very strange uh, title uh, for a film, there is drunken boxing in the movie and apparently Jackie Chan is somewhere in the movie as a toddler or something. It is an exceptionally groundbreaking movie because it was one of the first movies where a woman is the action hero of the movie and drives most of the fighting. In this case, it was sort of a watershed moment for this type of filmmaking, both in China and then around the world, and it took probably 30 years or more for uh, filmmakers to start making action films with women. But this film has just marvelous set pieces. It's done with an incredible amount of style and uh, it is a wonderful showcase of fighting on screen. I totally recommend Haywire. This is not a go and see this completely instead but because Haywire is a movie that defies crappy films being put out in January. It's a very solid piece. It's kind of a middle of the road uh, Soderbergh uh, but if you are looking for women kicking ass, um, check that one out instead. <laughs>